Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 69 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. This chapter has been an anomaly in that we only had one real story battle right at the very beginning, and then we had to build up all of that MEGA POWER! and get Fia to rank 11, and now we have our second and final story battle. This is going to be a while, so let's get into it. So, progressing north, we eventually come upon a giant gate in view. This must be Mazteria's territory. <laughs> so, the largest army in the world is here. Well, part of it anyway. They aren't going to attack us all of a sudden, are they? She's nervous. Yeah, Mazteria, the Mazteria of Faith, is an ally of justice, as they say. Since we haven't done anything wrong, they probably won't oppose us. But the presence of the castle will probably put them out of sorts a bit, so we should be a bit careful. To start with, let's approach the gate and start some negotiations. Get close enough and then descend from the castle to talk to them. Oh, look at that, the gate's opening for us. It must be a big gate if the castle can fit through it. But they act like so. Ooh, Fia's wondering if they are welcoming us. Well, they're certainly saying that we can pass. But there's also the possibility it's a trap. Well, although they need to be wary, they probably be, should be prepared to just fly in anyway. In any case, in order to get to where we're going, we have to pass through here. We gotta do it sometime, so let's do it. She's nervous. She hopes her greeting goes over well. <laughs> Alright, so, we get to another point and descend from the castle, but nobody's around. They don't even see the signs of Mosteria army. Well, the figures of them. Perhaps they see signs, but they don't talk about it. No one here? Hmm. Yep. Well, immediately after that, from the interior, a bright light assaults us. Ooh. Alright, welcome. We saw Guarakuna Castle, so we decided to let you come this far. <laughs> So, everybody remembers Mikshuana. She had two cutscenes a long time ago. Well, I remember Mikshuana. So, not only is she here, she's got a pretty good army behind her. In fact, this is quite a spectacle she's putting on for us. A shock and awe kind of thing. Hmm. I was thinking maybe instead of flying in here, we should have been more wary. Ah, well. Here is a greeting and introduction. Oh, she takes a long time doing it. Anyway, 
She's with the Monastery of Faith, the Subjugating Flame Masses. I called it Flame Wheel before. I think I confused myself as, as to the kanji. So I'll call them the Subjugating Flames. She is a power, which is a sixth rank angel. And her name is Mikshana. Alright, Avaro is Avaro. Uh, for the moment, he's the one who kind of runs things around here. That was an extremely bad introduction, but she got her name in there and the fact that she's the goddess of connections. So, we'll give her a... not a failing grade, but just above that. You know, she talked about doing this in a respectful and light manner. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, you didn't pass either of those. Yeah, she's nervous. Oh, yes. Goddess, I said, but she actually identified her as a present god. Uh, is that bad? Oh, should she apologize? Should she do the greeting over? <laughs> oh good, this means we don't get to listen to Fia acting like a ditz for a bit longer. So, let's go to the conclusion. She wants us to abandon the castle. That's pretty serious. Sounds like you're serious when you say that. So you want Guadalcuna Castle as well, huh? Well, no. Mazteria does not want it. No? No. In, well, no. It is impossible for these guys to actually take possession of it. Well, that's... Uh... What does that mean? If they don't want it, but they want us to abandon it, what the hell? So, to confirm, does Fia want to abandon the castle? Have the will to abandon the castle? Nope. Well, no. In any case, the castle is her ability, so leaving it is unreasonable. And further, there's a place that she wants to go, and for that purpose, the castle will be necessary. So, she can't abandon it. A place she wants to go... Why do you want to go there? She doesn't remember. Poor girl. I see, so you're withholding information from us, hmm? Uh, no. She was asleep for a long time and blah blah blah, we've heard this. No memories. We're not doing it to antagonize you or get a, the upper, upper hand in negotiations. Well, Mikshuana doesn't look at Avaro, but only at Fia. Mm. Is that the truth? Yeah. Yeah, it's really true. She really doesn't remember much of the past. No memories. Ah, uh, so that makes... That makes sense. For this reason, they don't... They... She is mistaken about her... Her nature and... She's not aware of her sin. Hmm? Sin? 
Alright. She asks Fia to abandon the castle again. If we can if we can sever the castle from Fia, these guys will take care of the rest. Hey, <laughs> she's hardly asking for uh, any consent here. Anyway, she can't do that. Like she said, it's her ability. Yes, that's so. In that case, these guys will have to destroy you with the castle. Okay. Thea is just intimidated by this. Ah, uh, anyway. This is pretty one-sided. Was this your goal from the start? You opened up that gate and let us enter. Just so you could come draw us in here to destroy the castle. Yes, it is. Chasing you down is... She says a hassle, but I would say a waste of resources. Well, that's a different attitude. Anyway, they haven't given us any good explanations here, so in any case, modern day Kettage. Oh, this is just a one-sided decision to destroy the castle then. This is pretty underhanded, of all things. Wasn't Mosteria an ally of justice? <sighs> this line, I feel Mikshuana is actually saying to herself. That is, she's whispering to herself that the way Varus saying things makes her look like the bad guy. Here explaining, she's just whispering to herself. So, back to her usual persona. She has already received permission. The tactical weapon, Guadalcuna Castle, in accordance with the in accordance with the rules laid down by the present gods, will be destroyed. And that per that mission has been entrusted to us, the Mosteri Army. Okay. Who gave this permission? If it's not the owner, Fia, it must be a pretty... Uh, <laughs> somebody who's really full of themselves, let's say. The High Priest of the Fiusia Faith, Kudo Vance. Do you remember him? I'd rather not, but I do. So, the Fiusia Faith Head Priest. That's a pretty big name. Okay, question. What's this rule of the world? If the greatest church in the world, Monasteria, is doing this, he's not doing it for his own sake. Okay, yeah. He's getting the wrong impression, so she'll explain. She clarifies, this isn't just Monasteria, one god, making this decision. A great distance in the past, 
When the present gods won over the old gods in a war, they put together their opinions and made these rules. These are rules that are absolutely and unchanging and cannot be broken. Okay, so let's hear the content of this particular rule. It is forbidden that any weapon powered by faith in gods shall exist. That's the basic gist of it. Alvaro's heart pounds. Yeah, looking at Fia. She's just staring forward. She's stiff as a board. Her lips are quivering. Man, she is out of it. So, what the hell does that mean? Using faith in gods as a power source? The Guadalcuna Castle is? It's Fia's ability. If that's how it goes, then every god will have to forsake their own nature. Well, I've always close to yelling this. But Mikshuanada still only looks at Fia and not at Avaro. So, Fia really doesn't remember anything. Guess not. Alright, Fia. You are truly the goddess of connections. But that weapon is actually not your ability. It's not connected to you. Mm. Mm. Unconnected to your ability. So that weapon and its connection to Fia is not actually an original part of Fia's nature. That was something that somebody else planted on her. Uh, Uetsukeru, meaning kind of like you would set a seed in some like they set a seed in her and the castle grew out of it. What the hell does that mean? <clears throat> anyway, that's kind of how it came to be a part of her. And that itself is the sin. So, her ability is only connections. The Guadalcuna Castle is a taboo that needs to be destroyed. <laughs> ah, what are you saying? She doesn't understand. Do you know any smaller words? Alright, until you understand, she's willing to explain as many times as necessary. Isn't she nice? Well, it is actually nice to talk to somebody who knows something and is willing to talk. How many times has that happened so far? She could be the first. This is chapter 7. Ah, anyway. So, wait just a minute here. If Fia's ability is only connections, uh, for the first thing, you don't have any proof that that's true. Can you say that the castle isn't part of her ability set? Well, if she doesn't have any memories, she has to go on the observations of other people, and that makes it difficult, but... So, but... In the castle, they've come... 
Well, they don't exactly say they confirmed its presence in the castle. But they have confirmed the existence of emplacements that forcefully draw power from spirits and from gods. So, do you know of such emplacements? And does this information strike any chords with you? Uh, that is... Oh, bam. So, of all things time, back to when he met Fia. And she was stuck in those magic stone. So, is that to mean that that's how the castle was powered at that point? And in that space, all the power from her was going to the parts of the castle, etc., etc.? Uh, that would be bad. Now, furthermore, Avaro's already suspected that the castle and those golems we fight inside of it were made by humans rather than by gods. So, these pieces are coming together all of a sudden. And yeah, the answer looks a lot like what... <laughs> looks like it's what Mikshuana said. And Mikshuana has observed that they appear to have caught on to that. So, with this evidence in place, yeah, it's pretty clear that that may be what happened. <laughs> Logically, he's being talked into a corner here. At this time, if she can actually leave the castle, that means she's broken a seal of some sort. But the fact that the castle is powered by one of the present gods is unchanged. This still means that Fia here is connected to a taboo weapon. And for that reason, these guys need to destroy the weapon and Fia along with it. So the problem would be, is Fia a god or isn't she? Yes. Yes, but earlier Fia herself said that she was a present one of the present gods. <laughs> so they opened the gate and invited them in in order to confirm this. So it's all gone rather well. So now that they've got their confirmation, all that's left is action. Huh. This is not vengeance, nor is it related to the benefit of one kingdom or other. It is just what is decided. And she's done some research into fear. So, although her personality is good, and her actions and deeds line up with bringing blessings to other people, since she is violating this rule of the gods, her existence itself is evil. So, as a taboo of the world, this weapon that draws power from the... has a power source in the power of the gods. They switched around some of the words here. Before it was faith in gods, and now it's power of gods. 
Anyway, she'll destroy it. Kami ga shihai suru kono sekai de kami o kui mono ni shite iru dougu no sonzai wa yuru sare nai. Oh, here's another clarification. In this world, the gods rule. Tools that use gods as fuel are forbidden to exist. Well, I say fuel, but the literal term there is food. Oh man, that's pretty harsh. So, we're pretty screwed here, aren't we? This basically makes the entire vanguard of the present gods our enemy. Uh, starting with the biggest one, I guess. That's unreasonable. Unreasonable. Last time we heard that was from Guy Doll, wasn't it? The unreasonable world would crush our spirit, was it? Maybe he was onto something. Gee, anyway, the unreasonable ones are us. Um, she has a point, sort of. Oh, jeez, this part. So, even if you weren't violating the taboo, that weapon is too dangerous. It's existence by itself will di draw disorder to people. And will cause many war forces to start problems. of our objects that we have no intention of using the castle as a war weapon of war. Hey. To be so unaware is so troublesome. So she is going to explain. Even if it weren't using the power of the gods as a tactical weapon, it's quite dangerous. それは攻めることと守ることを同時に行える破格の能力があり、移動による疲労もなく、休息も必要としない。戦場へと兵士を万全な状態で運べる状態です。so it can attack, it can defend at the same time. It's incredibly destructive and it can move without fatigue. It doesn't need to rest. It can deliver soldiers to a battlefield without any fatigue in them. And due to those abilities it can Launch attacks at night and invasions without any limit. Blah blah blah. It doesn't need logistic support, it doesn't need to be paid. So many. Uh, soldier E problems are d dealt with in that way. And as it moves, it can bring great sleeping quarters and food sources along with it. Oh, yes, water as well. Basically, by just staying in one place, it overpowers everybody in the vicinity. So, if it came to a battle, they don't even need to use their troops, they just need to continue forward. And as the troops they raid against them flee in fear, they just dispatch their own soldiers from inside and cut them down easily. In invading a country, they don't even need to take the exterior. 
the forts that would guard a country, they could just bypass them completely and start destroying the capital or other parts of the country indiscriminately. It's a nightmarish weapon. I do not buy this for one instant. That's not how military progress works, that somebody who progresses gets to... somebody who is superior gets to be handicapped. Now admittedly, this... using this in, on a wide scale would make the gods into... oh, you know, the batteries of Matrix fame. But, there are people who would use it. Ha, uh, anyway. That's her opinion on that. So, you understand yet? How dangerous you are? Hey. Uh, now I've always started to understand why Rishu and Gils... Man. Rishu and Gils wanted the castle so badly. Even if it weren't using the power of the gods, it is plenty overpowering. And since we've confirmed it does use the power of the gods, that makes it so much worse. So, the king of Influus has communicated with Mikuana here. And he confirms this. And it's a good thing that Influence is not affiliated with us. If the king had numbered Guadalcud and Castle amongst his military forces, the decision to wipe out the entire country was, would also be on the table. So, the world's biggest milia, military under Monasteria would crush them with full force because of this taboo. This is true. She says that often, actually. So, we finally got an explanation. This is pretty heavy, actually. Uh, I skipped over it, but now we figured out that Gilsh was acting on his own and not with uh, any blessings from his king, father. That guy, does he even get any face time in this game? Anyway, Fia. So, no matter what, you won't, re won't forgive the existence of the castle. No. <laughs> no, or rather, this is true. Its existence itself is a taboo. Oh, is that so? That's so. No, she's mumbling to herself. So she's shaking a bit and stuff. So Fia is a present god. So there's no way that she wouldn't know about the rules that the present gods have set. So, we haven't confirmed the mechanism by which she became one with the castle. And it could be speculated that she herself is a victim here. But, since you're connected to the castle, that reality must take priority. All right, this is Fia's last hope. So 
So, isn't there a way for her to cut her connection to the castle? At this time, there's no way for us to save you. In the past, there were many such tactical weapons, but now there are none. You must understand why. It's because there was no other way. According to the research of the Fiusia faith, who is cooperating with Masseria, in the past all confirmed weapons were destroyed and in that way dealt with. We will include Guadalcuna Castle among the exceptions to that. That last one came out pretty harsh. Ah, nowhere to run. Okay, Mikshuana. Okay, yes, what is it, Goddess of Connections, Fia? Mikshurana continues to be quite respectful of Fia, even as she says that we need to destroy her. Well, she's a respectful sort and serious about her duties. So, we, if you only destroy the castle and if he dies, will you save everyone else? Yes, she will. Again, with the this is true thing. So, their purpose here is only to destroy the taboo. The people living on the castle are not connected to that, so there is no need to punish them. Ah, that's good. And now on the castle there are lots of people living, riding, she says. So there's lots of belongings and things. Well, of course, they'll take the time to evacuate them. As a temporary place for them to stay, they can stay in this Morzione castle that they took over. Yeah, furthermore, they will help with moving all the belongings. Now, oh, aren't they nice and considerate? Heh. <laughs> so, she laughs a bit lonely. <laughs> Lonelyly? In a lonely way? So, Avaro knows what's going on here. Ifia has given up. She's given up on finding a way to save herself. Avaro doesn't like this. Well, good. Okay, Avaro, that's the way it is, so let's go back to the castle and... Alright, Avaro's not letting you finish that. <laughs> Stop this fucking around. Avaro pinches up his face in a glare, angry expression. Hmm? What the hell kind of expression are you trying to make here? This isn't a parting. Avaro here is not convinced at all. 
to say that your existence itself is taboo and to say that you can't divorce your body from the castle so you're going to destroy her with the castle huh ah this is what i've been waiting for i've always actually acting like a damn hero this is good so these rules of the world have set down this law and we can't disobey it so you're just going to let yourself be killed without any resistance at all that is no good Afaro here just won't accept that <laughs> just because you individually have a problem with it you're going to rebel against it Mikshana thinks that's a bit sticking his neck into things that isn't his business. All right, don't get the wrong impression. Avaro here isn't first mad at Mazteria, even if they are one of the gods that set down this damn rule. The person he is mad at is Fia. Who? Her? Yes, you. This surprises her for some reason. What the hell are you doing giving up so easily? Heading north with the castle, people will come out and oppose us. We knew that from the beginning. On this journey, there would be lots of articles. We knew that. We knew there would be at least one country and at least one faith that would oppose us. Right from the time that we made our contract. But... Heh. <laughs> anyway, this time the world is our enemy. The gods won't forgive Fia's existence. Even if the enemy is a god, it doesn't matter. You're a god yourself. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it is. I've always going to take advantage of her, of Mikshuana's statements that way. Oh yeah, she's caught on. As soon as Fia named herself as one of the present gods, Masteria accepted it. Because it was connected to this weapons that eat gods thing. So, since we've made that assessment, it means that Fia is a god. We finally have proof, after a fashion. So, Fia is a god, which means you're also one of the rulers of the world. And the gods have a right to express their truth. Eh, well, Kotawari can mean truth or way or existence or a lot of things. But basically, as a god, her nature is, deserves to be expressed. Anyway. That's true, and furthermore, our opponent here knows it. That's why they put all these angels in this castle here. They knew they'd oppose us, and they knew they were opposing a present god. But the other gods won't recognize her existence. You've got too many butts! I suppose it'd be better to say no butts, or no more butts, to, dis to translate that. Ta! Out of all shouting this at her. Fia just flinches and continues to listen. So you don't need to think about the other gods. You just need to think about what you want to do. Show us the way, Fia. <laughs> if you do so, Avaro here will make a path for you to get there. 
as her apostle, he's going to show her truth. Oh no, that's no good. Well, even if you don't, the god I serve is going to be destroyed here. There's no way that Devara would accept that. Devara won't let Fia die. And he won't let the castle be destroyed. Even if she's evil, even if her existence itself is taboo, Avara will accept all of her. Avara will accept all of her. This has nothing to do with this. The rule. The world's rules set down by the present gods. The god of Aura believes in it, Sphia only. Anything that denies Sphia, he doesn't give a rip about. And even if it's only Avaro doing this, if they say they're going to destroy Fia and the castle, he's going to resist to the end. Yeah, all right. Mikshuan is listening, and she readies her lance. Okay, she warned you once. I got your warning, and I defy it. I'm not going to let Fia die. Understood. If you're going to resist here, then you are affiliated with the... You are... Siding with the taboo. And... Being on that side, you get to be punished. Okay? <laughs> Just how I like it. He decided that his fate would be bound up with Fia. If you want to kill her, you'll have to kill him together with her. And furthermore, that means if we don't obey, you'd destroy everybody along with the castle, isn't it? Just like some imperial power making a threat to some to the small people. <laughs> Mikshuana says again that the existence of the castle is what overpowers the countries and the gods. Again with her military misinterpretations. Grrr. So, ignorance isn't a sin, it said. But to know the truth and still rebel against the world's rules is the height of folly. What did you say your name was again? <laughs> oh, finally you look at Avaro. So he wasn't that interesting before? Alright, here's my name again. I'm this cute goddess's lover come apostle. The engineer Avaro. And all I want to say now is don't pick on our god. Alright, Fia, deep breaths. Alright, it's decided. All that's left is the action. Oh. Let's hear something from somebody else, huh? So Okay, so this conclusion came way too fast. In order to get around this taboo, we would like some time. And for that purpose, Kisne will lend her sword to the effort. <laughs> and 
The castle is an advantage to Raul Rosso. So, it would be extremely unfortunate for it to be destroyed. And even more than that, you're not showing proper respects to her master. You remember she swore loyalty to Pia? Uh, it still feels weird, weird calling... having the Rishu address Pia as her master. Anyway. She'll visit a... heavy punishment upon your heads for this. So, having destroyed Detail's workshop, we still haven't paid him back properly. Yes, we did. And that's a bother. And just like that. If you shut up and let us pass, that would be nice. No, oh, and since Rosalina has just taken up residence in the castle, it would be a sad thing for her to have to leave already. And since Avaro has decided it, of course she's going to come along for the ride. Alright, the castle is our house. Home. And the goddess is our family. So, we're going to protect our family. It's not thanks to reason, it's what we want to do. How nice. You know, back there I tried doing some dubs of Avaro's lines. I just got so wound up. I decided not to play them because... Okay, I suck at it. I'll probably post a video with it. But I won't include it in the playlist, so you'll have to find it yourself. Ha! Not like anybody would want to. Alright, everyone, why? Because we like the castle? Duh. And you too. We can't abandon you. Can't let the castle be destroyed, so... Now, nah, he is about to cry here. This is unfortunate. Well, Mikshuan was thinking that since we've usually done the right thing, that with her explanation you would we would all, you know, follow the rules and everything. Ha! You had the opposite effect, didn't it? Now we're all raring to go. Well, we don't hold any grudges against you either. We do recognize that you went through the trouble of make, getting us here without hurting us at, to the best of your ability. But we're not going to give up. Making Fia into the only sacrifice here in order to preserve peace? That's not a joke that Avaro's getting. Uh, but Avaro, hey, she's putting together complete sentences now. This is an improvement. Alright, so she's breaking the rules of the present gods. So she's disqualified as a god. And furthermore, there's no way to save her. The history of the past shows it. There isn't a way to save her. That's just something that somebody said to you. And if there isn't a way, we'll make one. That's what Avara does, right? Yeah, pretty good. 
come to think of it, we haven't had the any particular mechanic that says we're going to this ending or that ending. This may be one. If we can find a way to save her before the end of the game, we can get a good ending, and if we can't, we get a bad ending. But that's just speculation at this point. Anyway. So, even from the beginning of the journey, I've always been doing this stuff for her. They've been building up her power in order she could move the castle. And even then, when she did move the castle the first time, she really had no place. Oh, wait. First, we needed to build up a enough power to move the castle. And even then, there was no place to sleep in in the castle. It was all a bunch of ruins and there were monsters all over the place. We've accomplished a hell of a lot already, right? Yep. That was inaudible on my end. How about you? So, we understand that Fia doesn't want to get us caught up in this. Yeah, that's kind of how you're a god and everything. But we don't want to see you die either. Another inaudible agreement. Alright then. If you want to live, fight with us. As a, his lover, he doesn't want to lose her to death. So, don't make him taste that. That's right. She wants to live with us. With Avaro, with everyone. And she wants to continue this journey with us. Alright, so... She'll do her best. In order to find a way that... She can live with everybody. Ah, she's finally smiling again. And not like that sick, I'm gonna die, but everybody else is going to survive the kind of smile she had earlier. Yep. I've always feeling pumped up by her smile as well. How nice. <laughs> Very well. Engineer Avaro. Along with the taboo, she is going to quiet you now. Well, thanks for waiting, huh? You're good at reading the atmosphere, huh? <laughs> if we hadn't met in this way, we probably would have gotten along. The hell are you talking about? Well, I've always certainly picking a weird thing to talk about right before a battle, but that's not bad. Because of Arl's the way she, he is, she can fight without any regrets here. So, with respect from the bottom of her heart, die along with the castle! Yeah, yeah just you try it. We aren't going to die that easily. So, it's battle time. And I've been going for quite a while, so... Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.